I'm Jacqueline. And I'm Cameron. And we're the owners of Baby Cubby. So we both grew up in San Diego. We knew each other in high school. I always joke that he dated all my friends, but not me until he went to college. I didn't date any of her friends. She made that all up. <laughs> and we hung out all the time. Fact check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We did go on a date. And One I did date. a backflip in the sand on the beach and landed on my head. It was pretty awesome. Uh, we did the long distance thing for like oh, yeah, we six did that. months. Yeah. Spent lots of time on the phone. Yep. Cameron attended Brigham Young University and I was attending Utah Valley University. And then after he served a mission for our church for two years proselyting, uh, we started dating because he wisened up doing that. And we dated for about a year and a half and got married. We have five kids, Jaden, Olive, Finley, Eli, and Miles. So Cameron's an entrepreneur and he loves doing things that he has hobbies about. So we actually started in the fish industry because he liked pets and fish. <laughs> and then we started having kids and that's kind of like another hobby. So as we were having kids, like every little kid has that little cubby where they shove all their favorite stuff, right? And that could be an actual cubby or it could be under a bed. As we became parents, I wanted to create this better shopping experience where it kind of mirrors how awesome being a parent is. And I wanted it to reflect like that cubby idea of like your favorite things and your best things. I mean, honestly, I think like shopping for our first when we did not own Baby Cubby or we were actually in college still, uh, just walking into a store and it's kind of like Costco. It's like floor to ceiling, pallets full of stuff. Not very much answers were given to the questions. And so it was pretty overwhelming then and there. There's so many things you're trying to find out. Like, first of all, you're scared about taking care of another person, let alone having to worry about car seats and strollers and mattresses and, oh, don't do this or else you're gonna make some tragic mistake. And like, there's so many things that it's just like, you know, I just feel like we could do so much better, like for parents than we have in the past. So I do a lot of the soft goods. I do a lot of the ordering of seasonal items, clothing lines, blankets, toys and stuff like that. And then I also head up merchandising. So displays that you see in the store. And then I'm involved in the day-to-day -day stuff, whether that's inventory, software management, like working with website, working with customer service, working with our team, helping grow our team, and fine tune things. Uh, one of my favorite memories or experiences that we had was um, the groundbreaking ceremony for our new location. So it was really fun. We actually designed the building, picked out all the you know textiles and how everything was uh, laid out. And so that took a lot of thought and process, the exterior, the interior, and I like design, so it was really fun too. It's always good to hear when people come in and share part of their lives and why they're super excited to come into the store to shop. And so we get snippets of what's going on in their lives and uh, share their excitement with them. What am I most proud of? Like the first answer is family, right? And then I think after that, the second answer is uh, like our team. My favorite part of, of having a company, it really is being able to work with people and grow and like I've learned more and I've grown more than I ever would have because of like the people that we worked with and um, the things that we've gone to do and mistakes we've made and those kinds of things. And um, I think that like growth is probably what I'm most proud of. We like to grab our favorite people and shove it in our little cubby too. Yeah. <laughs> Keep them with us.